This is a song of uh, my new album, Home. Uh, it's a song called Find My Way Home. And um, it's a song really about trying to live in that tension of uh, belief and unbelief. Uh, there's a, a part in the Bible where a man comes up to Jesus, he wants his son to be healed, and Jesus said, uh, if you believe, you know, anything is possible uh, for God. And the man responds, I believe, help me in my unbelief. And I feel like a lot of my life as a Christian is really lived in that tension. Times when I believe, and other times when I like, please help my unbelief. And this song was kind of the outcome of thinking through that part of the Bible. I hope you enjoy it. This is Fun Away Home. Thank you. 
It is. Oh, it's so good to be back in Australia, I have to be honest. Um, my wife and I live in, in Nashville uh, these days. Is there anyone from Nashville here today? Okay, good. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We, we like Nashville. It's a nice place. It's about nine hours to the nearest beach. And uh, that's a long way. So when you grew up near the beach, you know, we get massive withdrawals. And, uh, and I also miss crumpets a lot. Anyone else here like the crumpet? It doesn't get the props I think it deserves often. Um, you know, like, the reason I know this is because you can't get a crumpet anywhere in America. Like, it just doesn't really exist. And that's such a shame because it's such a wonderful, like, dummy concept. Um, you know? And so when I'm in, a, in the UK, I eat crumpets like there's no, there's no tomorrow. And then when I come to Australia, I eat crumpets like the law. You know, I did a, a two week tour in the UK recently, and I ate over 60 crumpets while I was there. <laughs> Seriously, I could not get enough. Oh my goodness. Um, which kind of has meant that after a lot of my concerts in the UK now, people come up to me and give me crumpets. Which is not really helping. And it did make me think that instead of talking about crumpets all the time, I should talk about, you know, Triumph motorcycles or something like that. You, know, uh, you never know. Um, but it is great being back. And, and part of it is that. Uh, when I left Australia, I was not the most patriotic Australian, I have to be really honest, okay? I, since we've left Australia, I have like an Australian flag cushion, uh, like on our dining table kind of area. Uh, I have Australian thongs, like Australian flag on them, which I actually wear out in public. Um, I started liking Vegemite, which is really new for me. Uh, and we even have one of those really kitsch, like kangaroos crossing, like things you stick on the door. And so when people come to our house in Nashville, they see like kangaroos crossing, you know, which I would hate myself if I lived in Australia and had all that stuff, you know. Um, but for some reason in Nashville, it just makes sense. So anyway, all that to say, there is actually a point to all of this. Um, I've started collecting Australian stories, and one of my most favourite ones is about Arthur Stace.